Hey everybody, Carpe Susu, welcome, we're going to do the archives of five box number six right now. Alright, this one, I want to do with as much hyper focus as I can. This one is a little tricky. A little tricky, but You are or are not Kate AC, because I mean, you know, what is an email hurt? Well, no, I mean, you don't, dude, listen, I mean, I don't, I don't think you will ever come off as a tool. I mean, you, you can send, you know, send it to me first. I'll read it. If it sounds toolish, I will, uh, I will tell you, but I don't think it's, uh, That guy probably gets gets a lot of emails. But, I mean, I'm definitely happy to proofread it for you. Just, you know, at least see if it feels uh, feels aggressive or not. Okay, so we're gonna come off archives. Archives can go fast, or archives can go as fast as I can do it. Uh, encased is after archives, which is easy peasy, like no, uh, you know, no hassle, kind of a break. Then I'm thinking about running a a quick a, a quick little promote promotione. After that, we might we might see. Then clearing out elements one and two, clearing out Don Russ is gonna be done. Dude, I mean Triple Threads has been hella nice, man. Had has been hella nice. A lot of nice cards for a lot of different teams. That's like one of the things, like archives and or not archives, but uh, triple threads has impressed me a little bit with uh, what I have opened. Is it hasn't just been like Yankees, Angels, Braves. Well, those guys have been there and done well. Diamondbacks have hit some good cards. Cardinals have done well. Padres have done. Well. Like they triple thread seems to have kind of spread it out, spread the hotness out a little bit. So if you got a team that you like, that are kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna hit, I don't know if I'm hit on that. Give triple threads a shot because they've been it's they've been, it's been consistent with uh, spreading out the hits. Flawless basketball is another one. That uh, I will be doing. We, 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 we're going to fill it either today or tomorrow. One of the two. No, Nick, I already said Elm is done. 
Almost done deal. Both both of the elements are done. Don't don't even don't I mean yes. For the elements, if you're waiting for a filler and you got a team that somebody thinks like oh you know like I'm I'm gonna wait for that, don't. Just grab your team and elements. Just grab them. Because elements can, elements can go fast, and elements is solid. Elements straight solid. A flawless basketball. Listen, I mean, listen. I, as of right now, I think there's only like uh, one other breaking operation opening flawless basketball that I know of. And I know I got better prices than they do. So, I mean, listen, there is nothing that makes better, it is a better dollar for dollar investment in basketball than a flawless. If your boy hits, you're going to be sick nasty. Elements highly underrated action. We still got still got some Donruss in the store, which has been very very nice. Got the last uh, half case of that in there. Like I said, immaculate football doesn't come out until the 23rd. They just pushed it again, but they're doing uh, two box smashers with a one on one bounty attached to it. Before the break, I'm a random, uh, random off teams. Top five teams can be involved in the bounty. If your team is in the bounty, hits a one on one, which with immaculate has a better than not shot, considering uh, how low numbered immaculate is. You walk away two hundred bucks in break credit. So you basically you're gonna get double what you paid into for the most expensive team if you pop a, a one on one in a bounty random out of that. It's ridiculous. I mean it's 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 straight up foolish. Straight up foolish. So I mean I would love to have Immaculate uh, pretty full by the time we get around there. Certified basketball is in the store. That comes out on Wednesday. Certified two autographs, one memorabilia. Not the uh, insane number of uh, base cards and whatnot. It's a tighter, cleaner, more classic kind of uh, product. Certified potential autographs of uh, all the hot folks. Hmm. It's goodness, and on top of it being straight goodness, it is cheap. It is cheap to get into, and when your team hits, you're going to do well. You're going to do very well. So, get in on certified early. Got to a couple of cases of that in the store, RipsityCards.com. Where are you going to find that? And right now we're going to uh, do the archives. Alright, let me slide this. Make myself a little bit of space for some base. Alright, give me one second. Get a drink of water. Get ready to uh, make this magic happen. <sighs> okay. Archives takes a little, takes a quick second because I do have to hunt down those uh, those ever, ever so elusive uh, variations.
All right, I think I have mentally prepared myself to do this. Okay. It's just a little bit to check for the variations. The only bit of uh, trouble and there was two in the first half so there's probably at least one in the second a catfish hunter uh, to uh, 175 Particularly easy to find. Like these circly cards have a black, have a gray back variation. It's hard to see. These have ones that don't have uh, autographs on them. These have one where this tops logo is a is a uh, hook logo. So there's a lot. To try and keep track of a Phil Garner for the Pirates. Autograph. Rookie history for uh, Reggie Jackson. break has managed to uh, murder the room. Hey, Pedro Martinez, uh, Dodgers rookie history. Minty Fresh, blessed shall you be. How are you doing today? Longoria Giants to 175. Well, I mean, that's usually all it takes, Minty Fresh. That's usually all it takes. I'm glad that I was able to provide it for you. Glad I was glad that I was here today when you when you needed it. Rizzo to uh, 175 for the Cubs. Oh, 
Oh, I mean, Baze's blessings are, I mean, are better. Mine are more potent, minty fresh. I mean, my mine carry more weight with uh, the you know the good Lord where, wherever he be. Yeah, I got to have uh, uh, brunch with uh, Bates and the family today. Had a uh, a a beef short rib, uh, eggs Benedict. With uh, spinach and asparagus. It was lovely. It was absolutely lovely. Him and his family are just uh, just the tits. Uh, Jim Palmer, uh, Ricky History. He makes me want to move to Ohio to be to be close to close to his presence. A Willie Wilson for the Royals? My goodness. My goodness. Yeah, Bates is basically the only person, like the only friend that I have that uh, that my wife likes too. I mean, he is just he is just one charming sob. Yeah. Minty Fresh, what are you up to? Uh, what are you up to this evening? Anything exciting? I mean, this. I mean, listen. I mean, if 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 you're if you were not already excited, then I am sure the sight of a uh, archives baseball uh, break put put you into overdrive. So hopefully you don't have any heart conditions or anything like that. You know, because then, because then, I mean, I would just be going to a funeral. But I can literally only go through this so fast. A Bill Madlock? No way! Infamous third baseman for the Pirates? And now you have an autographed buyback card of his? Pirates, hashtag lucky. See now where we had two two variations in the first half of this. So it is possible that there are no variations in the second half, but at the same time, I don't want to be the one to miss a uh, fancy variation. But there are a lot of these cards. <laughs> Minty fresh. I'm glad that I'm glad that you're still taking your meds. You know, because I mean, frankly, like there's, you know, I take uh, I I take medication to like lower blood pressure, but if I know I'm doing like an archives, a Don Russ, even like maybe like a hoops break or something, I just say no, I'm not I'm not gonna take it because the uh, the cards will do do the work of the medicine, and so far so far not dead. So, you know, I'm I'm good there at least. I'm not dead. Although I have had a couple of nightmares that uh, that I did die on stream. So that you know that might be a uh, a highly watched video as long as it's uh, uploaded to uh, YouTube. I'm cool with it because you know. All about the promotion. It's all about the promotion.
No, it's, no, it's G here that's got the picture variation. All right, Matt Olson, Ultima Athletics uh, to 99. Congratulations, Athletics. I feel like you've already uh, already won the contest. And Ozzy Smith, Padres. One of, the, one of the few players that I like in baseball just as a player. And then I have no real particular care for the Padres or the Cardinals, but I've always been an Ozzy Smith fan, if nothing but for those chops. Back in the day, when I was in college, I used to have the chops. They were uh, based on the uh, Ozzy Smith variation. Only 11,000 cards to go, and we will be done with this. Will McCovey tops history. A windy peppercorn autograph. What? Well, minty fresh. I am an. I am basically an expert on this. I mean, I am. You know, looking for the variations. I am yanking the rookies. I am. Uh, you know, it's. You know, you gotta be you gotta be highly skilled in the uh, in the weird products to uh, to be able to break Rip City cards. I mean, there's like tests involved, interviews. I mean, it's it's really a very long process. Hey, no more Garcia Parra to uh, 99. It's not easy. I mean, listen, it, it is, I mean, I could blast through the whole thing and then just have uh, sorting, packing, shipping sort the rest of it out, but I figure since I'm going to have to be the one that uh, ends up sorting it back out, that I take the extra minute and a half that's in total is going to take me. A Tom Browning for the Reds. I, there's a there's a better than not chance that I have this card unautographed in uh, in my collection. It's 25 at uh, at, at my mom's house. Hey, there we go. You know what? I've kind of noticed. I've kind of noticed that they have uh, thrown thrown some of these out, like into the middles, the gray backs. Like the only times I've ever seen them, they have they've been in a singular piece. Like every other time you see like this circle card in multiples, you see like one, like two or three of them. The only time I've ever seen gray backs. Have been in singles. There's Goose Gossage uh, Padres. Friggin' Nature, how are you doing? Um, meh. between this one and the next one, Rover, probably. Probably. I got, uh, 
I've got a lot of interest in a couple of uh, brakes that are basically getting uh, near full and then flawless uh, flawless is high on my list of things to be uh, finished with today a uh, Tom Glavin uh, history like I I have to, like, I have to make it go have to make it go. And these are weird now because some are like upside down that shouldn't be generally. Alright, we get in there, we get in there, we get in there, we get in there. This is close, this is close. Yeah, bucks suck. Uh, minty fresh, no. Sadly, no. I traditionally break Friday night and Saturday night. And there is another uh, younger gentleman, more slightly more energetic than myself, that uh, breaks uh, the other five days. His name is Jesse, Colombian fellow, uh, in his uh, late late twenties. Uh, Rob Nen for the Giants. Actually, a Rob Nen fan. No joke. I uh, was a, fan, a Giants fan like in this era, so I do like Rob Nen. But, uh, I mean, just is a good time. If you're, if you're ever around. It's very excitable. He's a little, I mean, a little, uh, not as, uh, what should I say? Not not as smooth as myself. He he likes to get get a little, little get a little dirty with some things. Uh, Hoyt Wilhelm two out of twenty five for the White Sox. That time, if you find yourself uh, bored on a Friday night or Saturday night, so I will. Uh, I'm your dude. All right, Reverend. Uh, dubious, nothing right this second. I got these two breaks that I got that I got to clear out. Then I think what I'm going to do, and it, and if you guys want to hold off for just a for just a couple of minutes, I'm, I'm, I might suggest it. I think I'm going to go take a uh, take a quick poop. But during that poop time, what I'm going to do is offer. Any spots sold while I'm gone for my poop uh, into a uh, random for like $100 in break credit. Like literally any spots purchased while I'm gone. Into the rando. So yes, uh, Kids Play Encased is next. Almost there. Give another... 15, 20 minutes or so. Then I'm gonna take a uh, a little quick, quick personal break, and then we're gonna plow through Elements, Don Russ, and Flawless tonight. Like that's just that's that's just it. I mean, and since those will go uh, pretty quickly, we'll just move through other things after that. A uh, Clayton Kershaw uh, tops rookie history card. What's that from? 06? Fancy. I don't even know if it's worth checking the uh, checking those deals now since I've since I'm seeing that they're uh, Noah Spence. How are you doing? 
Yeah, rah rah, and I have gotten uh, I have gotten more complaints about the uh, Rip City After Dark being at uh, you know five thirty in the afternoon. That is actually a uh, picture variation on the Rosario uh, rookie card. Let your boy uh, find and fancy. Picture variation uh, Mets Ahmed Rosario. Folks that are uh, watching breaks with their families and their kids. And uh, Jesse dropping what uh, Jesse dropped. While he break. Only problem is like you know, like you'll tell him to like tone it down, and he'll tone it down for like four days. I mean, I, I mean four days might even be uh, generous. Then it's then it's back to. Uh, uh, Rift, Rift City AD Fire Squad kind of uh, kind of business. Uh, Jeff Bagwell uh, rookie history. A uh, Sky Smalls autograph. The Sandlot. Frank Thomas, uh, rookie history to fifty. All right, we getting there. We getting there. We getting close. 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 A Whitey Ford to uh, 25 for the Yankees. All right, last stack. It is slightly smaller than other stacks, but still going to be probably like two chunks. Two chunks of goodness. A Michael Lewis autograph. He is an author. This will have to go random style. Uh, he puts inked paper. The New York Times bestseller list is about the updated popular author. Has written several massively popular books, both in and out of the sports world. Uh, he wrote uh, Moneyball and The Blind Side. Had no idea. Random style. I can't read, so that's 
I listen to I listen to all my books on tape. So so I I I, I don't know who he is. Hey, Felix Milan. There we go. That's what I'm talking about for the Mets. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. All right, two more grapples of cards. You know, Minty Fresh. I never saw it. I, I, for not for lack of want to, I is just not. Uh, it's just not had like the time or it's just never come up like I don't know if, maybe it's I don't know I, just, I, just, I haven't seen it want to I mean listen if you're not a, if you're not a, a Brad Pitt fan you're not a, you're not an American so I mean there is that Eric Thomas, twenty twenty five. See, this always weirds me out when like some of these cards like start showing up flipped around. Like, what has happened at the Topps factory that those cards then start being like flipped around? Like, what 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 had happened at the factory? Brewers Robin Yount, Topps history. And our last stack. Oh, let's see. This one actually goes this way. A Hector Lopez autograph? For the Yankees? Are you serious? We're actually getting a Hector Lopez? That's impressive. I mean, I can tell you for a fact that I have not seen a Hector Lopez autograph before today. But now that I've seen it, I can't say that I have never seen Hector Lopez autograph for today again. Can't do it. Okay, there she is. So we have autographs for the Hector Lopez. Well, yeah, let's do the random first. Five is going to be our number. Let's do a random for the uh, Moneyball guy. You know what? I have ne I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen Sandlot uh, before either. I'm gonna I, I have I have to watch that at some point. The next the next time I get to uh, several hours off to myself, where I just want to like blow time out, that's what I'll do. All right, so we're going to go uh, five times. This is for the uh, author autograph of Michael Lewis, of the infamously of the uh, Moneyball and Blindside blockbuster films. So five times, top spot. So we're going to get this one. Pat 
Padres. Walking away with Michael Lewis. So now we have uh, autographs uh, for Hector Lopez of the Yankees, uh, the uh, Felix Milan of the Mets, a uh, Rob Nin Giants, a Bill Madlock for the Pirates, a, Wilson, a Willie Wilson for the Royals, a uh, Phil Gardner for the Pirates. We also have the uh, Scotty Smalls. Well, the uh, Med Rosario is a, a picture variation. And a uh, Michael Lewis uh, author that is going to the Padres. So, thank you, everybody. We'll get right to you.